technology level, we are still serving other gods by using these names. See, this this shit is psychological, y'all. Y'all don't even know how deep this stuff really run. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't really know how. To, and the reason why I don't speak on it too much because I be sounding crazy as hell up here. But anyways, when the when this tagar or this hydrostatic pressure, because this the cellular mechanism is penetrated or ate through or degraded or de or decaying because the acids are sitting on it because you are eating foods and you're not worried about kidney filtration, you're not worried about defecating in the right way. Once it chews through the actual cellular membrane a piece open and this is called cytolysis and what cytolysis is y'all look this up cyto means cell lysis means to burst cyto means cells lysos means to burst so cellular bursting once the acids chew through the cell all of this pressure and it pops like a balloon so that means every macro and micronutrients you had inside the cell and every organelle that was inside the cell burst open it burst forth boom all this stuff is just in the system. Now, check this out. Inside the nucleus, the nucleus is one of the most important organelles inside the cell because it holds the DNA. This is the information that rebirthed and recreate a new cell. Did y'all know the nucleus is protected by something called the nuclear envelope? And when you look at the nucleus, the nucleus is about, uh, I say, anywhere from 20 to, to 50 micrometers big. That's what the nucleus is. You can see these things under electronic microscope. So I'm going to draw this out for y'all. So this is a nucleus, right? We're just going to draw a nucleus. Would you come put this phone over me real quick so they can see what I'm talking about? Put it right over this. All right. All right, so look, we're going to draw a cell. We're going to make the cell look circular as possible. So this is the nucleus of a cell, just a small circle. All right, this nucleus is only 20 micrometers. That's the size of the actual nucleus. No, just turn it down. I'm trying to... Oh, it's on that. Yeah, my bad. Yeah. All right. All right. So this is a cell nucleus. I'll draw another one so y'all can see the whole drawing. All right. So the cell nucleus. Boom. All right. So the cell nucleus is only 20 micrometers. Right. That's the cell nucleus. But then you have the nuclear envelope that surrounds and protect the nucleus because inside of the nucleus, you have the DNA. You have the genes. The gene expression. This is what makes your skin color black. This is what makes your nose the size it is. This is what makes you have blue, brown, or black eyes. This is what makes your fingernails grow the way it does. If you got a full-grown beard, my brothers, this is how your beard is full-grown. This is what remakes your cells. So this is genetic material. When you look at the nucleus, the nucleus is the information to the reproductive part of the actual cell. They used to say that the nucleus was the brain, but the, nu the nucleus is not the brain of the cell. The cytoplasma around the cell of the cellular membrane is the actual brain of the cell. That's what does the thinking and, and reaching out to the external environment and sending messages and things like that. So this is the nucleus. Now the nucleus have something called a nuclear envelope that protects all of this information. And this is bigger. It's bigger. This thing is about 50 to 100 nanometers big. It's about 50 to 100 nanometers big. And then the actual Nucleus is about 20 to 30 micrometers. Now, if you look at this, the protective shell or the nucleus envelope that cover up the nucleus is about 30,000 times bigger than the actual nucleus is protecting. So you have something called cellular. Hold on, let me see that. So you have something called cellular lysosomes, right? And what a cellular lysosome is, a cellular li lysosome is a, a, a digestive enzyme that's created by the cell. And what this digestive enzyme is supposed to do is, it's supposed to actually put it back on her. Did it change? Okay. Are you moving? Yeah, you're moving too fast. Okay. All right, so you have these, so you have a lysosome. And what the lysosome The cells also have vesicles in it, which act as the bladder. This is the structure of the cell. So this is the bone structure of the cell. Well, inside the cell, you have the digestive system called the lysosome. And the lysosome looks like this little bitty pool. And what it does is it secretes 
these molecules. And what these molecules does is it breaks down the cell from the inside. It starts just bringing and producing a bunch of acids for the cells to break down. Well, remember, you got 300 billion to 500 billion cells going through this death and recycling cycle every single day, right? Now, check this out. When the cell get broken down, remember we was talking about that nucleus envelope, how, how it was 30 times bigger than the actual nucleus itself. So it never gets broken down quite right. So let's draw the nucleus again. Small nucleus with the nuclear envelope. So now we have the lysosome starting to break these things down. It never really break it down properly. So the nucleus becomes damaged, but it never really dies. So this the nucleus now. It looked at full, but now since the lysosome tried to break it down, but it's too thick to break it down. And we got 300 billion to 500 billion cells going through the same degrading process a day over 300 billion of these i mean over 200 billion of these cells don't even break down properly so now you have a lopsided broken off nucleus roaming around in the system that still have dna but this time the dna is not structurally bound the dna is breaking off and it's damaged now you have damaged nucleus with leaking dna now you have a damaged nucleus with, with leaking DNA in the bloodstream. So guess what you do? You start feeling all the detoxification symptoms from this. The first thing you're going to do is get a fever, right? Because the body's trying to localize these areas because you have all of these genomes. You have all of this damaged DNA. You got the damaged nucleus rolling around in the cells. You have half degraded cells roaming around the system. So the actual lymphatic defense system of what they call the immunological system is going to get activated. You're going to get a cold, right? This cold going to come with flu-like fevers. You're going to get inflammation. Inflammation is going to start trying to localize areas. The fever is to thin out the blood and to kill bacteria. For you can get goodies into the bloodstream to get to that area. You get sick, you start developing a cough. Your fever go high. Oh, snap, I done caught a demon or I done caught a virus. You go to the doctor, they test you. And what they do is they check your blood. Your blood and your actual saliva is going to show these degraded, half broken down cells in your body. And they're going to call that a virus. But is that really a virus or is that half degraded cells that haven't been completely broken down due to the digestive process in the body because your kidneys and your adrenals are not working? And because you have too many acidic mucus in the body and your lysosome is failing to work because it's been congested all of your life because you've been eating the wrong freaking food. Mm. So is it really a virus? Is it really a demon? Or is it that you have adapted a diet that's not a part of your custom? You have adapted a diet that's not a part of your traditions. You have adapted a doctrine. You have adapted a mindset, a program that's not a part of that. And you believe in this program so much that the body's natural capability of healing itself is actually in full effect. But you would never let it really truly work because you have these people putting actual pagan gods and ritualistic terminologies on you. And then you let these people treat you. For these so-called viruses, when it was the body not breaking down its actual waste byproducts properly. So since it couldn't break it down, you have degraded, half dead, half of live cells, leaking protein, leaking DNA strands. That's why I'd be like, well, a virus have its own DNA. Well, of course it did because it's its own cells that wasn't broken down completely with inside of the bloodstream. Of course it would have its own DNA. Well, the virus is protected by a nuclear envelope. It's very, very well protected. That's because it's my damn own nucleus that come from my own freaking cells. Of course, it has a cell nucleus. It came from within my own body. I didn't catch it outside. Now, be that like I was, you they act like you just walk outside of me. Damn, I done caught a virus. No, you catch them from inside. That's if right. there's, I said this when, uh, when I was on uh, 19 Keys show. I said this. If it's a virus that you caught outside of the body, it is not a virus at all. It is a biological weapon that was created by our government. Whether we talking about NASA, whether we talking about DARPA, whether we talking about Fort Dedrick military base that's over there in Baltimore, Maryland, whether we talking about all of these things, if we call it a virus and it was caught outside of the biological entity and not from within the biological entity due to cell degradation and apoptosis or cellular mitosis or cellular meiosis. We can't. It's not a virus at all. Then if it doesn't come from the body and it's not a biological entity, it's not a virus. It's a damn weapon that was created. These are weapons we're talking about. These are weapons. So this the body produces its own viruses. 
Now, do y'all know the purpose of this? See that? And this is what I love about the molecular structure. This is why I'm into molecular biology. This is why I'm in laboratories. This is why you see me on microscope. This is why I'm into forming and microbiology, growing things, permaculture, electroculture, agriculture, looking at the archaea, looking at the mycelium network. This is my shit. You know why? Because I see what the body does. Since the body couldn't break all of these down because the cells are not functioning properly. And now you have all these half degraded cells roaming around through the system, raising what they will call your antibody teeters. And they check these antibody teeters and oh, all of a sudden you have this virus. But if you look at the terminologies in the medical books, the whole point of the antibody is to be recognized as an immunity exemption. Meaning since you have the antibodies, you don't have the virus. But now in order to see if you have the virus, you must have the antibody. And that's the reason why they say you have the virus because the antibodies show. You be like, hold on, man. Somebody is freaking lying around here. But look, the beautiful thing about the body is this. Your cells couldn't break down properly. The lysosomes was not breaking down and degrading the cells properly due to apoptosis, due to all these other different cellular things. Because you have uh, you have another one called penocytosis. Penocytosis, penocytosis is basically when the body breaks down lipids and the body breaks down certain liquids and H3O in the body. And then you reutilize those molecules. You see that? Then you have another one called phagocytosis. Phagocytosis is when the body go to autophagy and it breaks down proteins. It breaks down minerals. The minerals Minerals didn't get used all the way. Guess what the body would do? It say, "Look, let me take that magnesium back up again." All right, hold on. Let me. I need this. I need these minerals for for the liver. I need iron phosphate for the liver. Now, guess what? If the cells is working wrong and its degradation don't happen right, it won't reutilize it and it will stick more iron in the liver. Guess what the iron break down to? Hemo, the hemoglobin. Once the hemo break down into its heme group, this breaks down to bilirubin. So when you look at people with high bilirubin or have a vitamin D deficiency, you automatically have to think, damn, the cells was not capable of degrading and breaking down the cells 100% to recycle these things. So what the cell does is just push things everywhere else. That's what the system System does but look check this out this is how amazing the body is since the cells don't break down properly and you have 150 trillion cells and 300 to 500 billion cells die every day we're going to, it's not going to work efficiently all the time you got mitochondria slipping and spilling out you got all these cells spilling out what happens is god is so smart the universal creator that doesn't have a name if you can name it it is not god Every everything we name it other than that is a demigod. It's our God concept. If we can put a name to it, it is not the creator. You see what I'm saying? The only thing we can do is express how far our minds can even conceptualize what we even call God straight up. But the creator was so magnificent. It used the same particles to initiate a detoxification path. You see that? So if the cells doesn't break down properly, if it don't go through a cellular uh, uh, auto auto uh auto all of autophagy I often say autophagy because they say it both ways and the cells don't break down properly and it don't utilize once these cells or these half broken up cells make their way into the system and they start raising what you will call the immune teeters the antibodies <laughs> all of his lies y'all once these things start roaming around in the cells what the body will then do is initiate a detoxification phase and these things will start going through the skin you see that? Oh, man, I got skin rashes. I got skin disorders. I got psoriasis. Uh oh, I got a herpes outbreak because, you know, they call herpes a viral load when it's really a hemorrhage worm. And it does have these outbreaks due to the protein. See that? So now the skin is going to start expectorating. The skin will open up because the skin is a third kidney. It's a filtering system. Of course, you have absorption factor as well. And it acts and is communicating with the brain in your external environment due to your air. But the skin acts as a filtration system. So now you have all these skin legions. You see that? Carcinoma. You see that? Carposi. What, what people that have HIV get when their skin starts opening up. That is the body's last attempt to detoxify these half broken down degraded cells and mitochondria and beat up nucleuses out of the body. But you have been taught and programmed that that's HIV. That's what you've been taught and programmed. That's this. That's that. Now cancer or virus. I mean, it's just virus, virus, virus. But when you actually look at what's happening in the body. See, I'm not I'm not speaking from. From some just reading, not be telling. We look at these cells. Right. I'm looking at them. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm studying these cells. They own slides. They own Petri dishes. I'm looking at these things from a hundred projective using immersion oil on my crystal lens, using the dark field. I mean, literally the cells are, I'm seeing what's happening under the microscope and it ain't what they've been telling y'all. It is not what they've been telling y'all. I watched two days ago. Yeah. I took some blood, live blood. I put it on a slide. I looked at it in dark field and I watched a cell burst. I watched it burst. It was something looked like it was smoking or steaming from it. Fluids coming from it. It got a bubble at the top of it and it popped open. Soon as it popped open, all little particles came from outside the cells and started rushing into the bloodstream. And I said, damn, there it is. They will say that these same particles that came from the body's own cell is the virus. How? We got, it either got to be one way or the other. It either came from an external, uh, external source or it came from within the own body molecular structure. And we have been taught that these things are the wrong things and they not. That's all I'm saying, y'all. That's all I'm saying. So how do you get rid of these things? I know y'all all asking. Detoxification. Allow your body to open up its meridian pathways. Allow your body to open up its NRF2 pathways. Allow your body to open up its glutathione, glutathione pathways. Allow your body to open up these pathways for you can get rid of these half degraded cells. Because no matter if you're healthy or not, you're going to go through this because you have 150 trillion cells in your body family. Five billion of these cells die and recycle themselves every day. There's going to be millions and millions of these cells that don't break down properly. And when these cells do not break down properly due to you eating wrong or even eating healthy, when they poop on themselves and that acid sits on it and it's going to break through, it's going to chew through the molecular, it's going to th chew through the cytoplasma, which is nothing but cholesterol base anyway, but it's going to chew it up. And once it chew it up, that pressure that's inside of that cell like a balloon will bust forth. All of the gen genetic biological material <coughs> would then go through the system and then you will start feeling detoxification symptoms from that. And they will call these symptoms or call this metabolic acidosis mixed with the cell's own genetic material. That's why they say it ha the virus have its own DNA strand. It, it, yes, and it, it has a, a nuclear envelope, envelope. They talking about the shit that your cells made. It is nothing that even came. It's your own body creating its own waste, degraded waste, going through something called penocytosis and, and, and phagocytosis. And, it's, and this is literally called failed autophagy or failed autophagy. Failed autophagy is the reason why. And you cannot avoid failed autophagy because it's too many damn cells that's dying at one time and being recycled every single day. Something coming off the assembly line going to be wrong. If you make a million toys a day, at least a hundred of them toys going to be disformed and look crazy. And somebody going to get that package and they're going to call it in and then you have to ship it back to the manufacturing company. And they're going to have to give you a new one because they do it too much. They making cars and shit all day. Some cars going to be disaffected. Some car going to have a bad brain. Some car going to have a bad tire. Some car, going the brakes going to get installed wrong because the, the assembly line is making thousands of them a day. That's the reason why detoxification is important, y'all. Detoxification is important. So this is how you fix this. This is how I fix mine. This is how we fix all of our clients. We do this every day. We put you on a fasting regimen and we give you the right foods to eat. Right foods to eat when you need to truly, truly cleanse and detoxify is a all fruit diet, y'all. 21 days. Give yourself 21 days. Yes, this is a biological machine, family. That's all it is. We are biological quantum computers. That's what we are. And we're all connected. Singularity is a real thing. We're all connected uh, in consciousness. This is one consciousness experiencing itself in many billion difference of bodies. And then even on that macro scale, when you go into each individual body, they have 150 trillion of these little entities. And then when you go deeper, these things break down to molecular molecules. And then when you break that down, it goes down into atoms. And atoms are made up of 80% of cosmic energy or what you'll call air, no thing. So where is it receiving its signal from? We are God experiencing itself through the flesh. And these are the facts. But anyways, what I was saying was this fasting, 
Make sure that you only eating between the hours of one and four. And I'm going to do a lot of more and I'm going to break this fast down for y'all because it's like two hours just to break it down. But it will literally save your life. Only eat between the hours of one and four. The rest of the hours of the day, only drink liquids. Caloric free, free spring liquids that have minerals in it. This will allow the body to flush and to get all of those different molecules and cellular debris that are just floating around in the system, raising what they will call the immunological teeters in the body or titers in the body, what you'll call antibodies in the body. Once you get them out, you will see they go down. The only reason, only thing that explains antibody counts is toxicity. That's the only thing. If you see toxins raised within the bloodstream or toxins raised within the interstitial fluid of the body, you will see antibody titers rise higher. That's the only if you get rid of the toxins, if you if you get rid of the pollutants and if you detoxify the body by way of fruits, fruit juicing, drinking water, working out, sweating, getting in a sauna, getting in cold plunges, turning on your heat shock proteins, turning on your cold shock proteins, shivering, shivering is very good for detoxification, getting on a rebound, jumping, jump roping, moving your lymphatic system, investing into an actual uh, 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 vibrational plate to move and shake your bone marrow. You'll start seeing that the defecation will increase. The urination will increase. The skin actually acting as a third kidney filtering out metabolic waste will increase. You see that? Getting on these herbs that you need will increase. Lymphatic herbs. Chaparral is a blood herb that cleanses the blood. Burdock root cleanses the blood. Uh, yellow dock actually breaks up coagulation. You see what I'm saying? Start getting on things like that. Dandelion cleanses the actual liver. Hydrangea root breaks up calcification, breaks up not only calcites, but it breaks up liver and gallbladder stones and kidney stones. Start getting on these herbs. You see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, cleaver's leaf, move the lymphatic system. Plantain leaf, move and break down things that's in the lymphatic system. Start getting on these herbs, getting on your fruits. 21 day fast, only eat between one and four. The rest of those hours drink nothing but water. Or drink juices that's high in water, like watermelon juice. And you will start seeing the defecation really happen. You will start getting rid of all of these cellular toxicities. And you will get rid of all these broken, have broken down, degraded cells. And you will notice that your virus will go away. People that had this so-called HI, you know, whatever you call it. They go get checked and know, oh, there's, I don't see it. Your numbers are so low. How many times do you hear that, Nabi? Uh, the numbers are so low, we can't even read it no more. Huh, they start saying it's going, you're undetected. No, it just means it ain't there no more. It ain't there no more. The toxins left the body, so t the antibody teeter titers left. They, gonna, they got the nerve to say you're undetected. It's still there, but we just can't see it. How does that make sense? So the virus is still in me, but you can't see it. Hmm, let me, I need to drink some coconut water to that. The virus is still there, but you can't see it. It's undetected. How does that even make sense? So the virus theory, the germ theory, the bacteria theory, all these theories that can't nobody prove, but yet and still hundreds and millions of people are going around teaching these things that's only been based off a theory. Then when you check the actual background of the theory, it is actually leaked to paganistic Romo, Grecan and Greek gods. And then when you start learning body parts, I am an expert at anatomy. Now, forgive me. Sometimes I say my words wrong and I can't talk. I got a lips. I got metal from here to here. I got my jaw shattered. So my teeth push out and my tongue do some weird things when I try to speak. So, of course, some of my words come out crazy, especially when I say things like snake or essence. You're going to hear it all day long. So forgive me for that. I can't help that problem. But I'm an expert when it comes to breaking down these words and these terminologies that make up the human body. All of them are backed by a Greek God. All of them. All of them. Yes, God anus. We, which I know. Yes, God anus. Anus in the two cheeks. You start reading, man, I'm telling you, you start reading. What you be like, what the hell is really going? We are dealing with a nasty Predator, predophile, mental reptilian type entity entity that's hiding behind skin and turning the world upside freaking down. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> I know y'all. I know y'all. But look, 
There it go. So y'all want the viruses exposed, right? <laughs> if if y'all understood, understood, and overstood everything I said, type in some nines, and we're gonna start answering some questions. I'm gonna let y'all call in. If y'all understood, overstood, and, and understood everything, yes, the gluteus maximus, the Achilles heel, the hippocampus, the limbic system. You start looking this stuff up, you're like, what the hell? The colostrum. Then you start looking at colostrum. You start getting to claws. Claws come from Santa Claus. Santa Claus come from boy. You start looking at these things. You're like, damn, these things are talking about Satan. Mythological creatures. Huh? Hydro. Hydration. Hydro come from the god Hydro. The god of water. A Greek god. Look. Y'all think I'm lying? Look this stuff up. Arteries come from Eteris. Come from Aries. The god Aries of the air. It makes sense because air is supposed to be oxygen and oxygen flows through the venous system that they call the arteries or arterias, which is arteries. So now the air God is what gives my blood hemoglobin and hemoglobin captures and the air God comes and give me molecules. And from there, I'm able to exchange with my pneumocytes. I'm able to exchange oxygen from carbon dioxide and that allows me to breathe a Greek God. And I ain't even Greek. I ain't European. I'm a full-blown indigenous, chick tall, shab tay brother from the Mississippian culture. <laughs> but I'm bowing to Greek gods. Huh? Letting them diagnose me with Greek names. Oh, we, this is psychological warfare that's going on, family. This is this is way more. Let's see the mind create the body anyway. So if you sick physically, that means something up here is off. And usually it's your customs. Usually it's your traditions. Usually it's your indoctrination. It's your indoctrination. This is psychological warfare. The sickness started here first, not here. It started here. Your mind, what you've been taught food is, what you've been taught Water is. But no, Yaquik ass is crazy. He said drinking water is unnatural. Drink your fruits. But you couldn't even tell me the real molecular molecule structure of hydrogen and oxygen to make this liquid we call water. There's certain things that you can't still explain about the water that's here on Earth. Like how can a boat float on that water? How can you jump from a thousand feet and hit the water and the water restructure itself and turn into freaking concrete and break every freaking bone in your body? How that same water can become... How that same water can become elastic enough and you can actually sink in it? Or you can do something with the gases of your body and you can float in it, showing you that the structure of water changes due to you, the environment that you put the water in. Have y'all seen the water experiment with H2O? He wrote hate on one of them. He wrote love on one of them. And the molecules of the water change. So I simply say that water has a different structure with inside of your body. I'm crazy. I simply say that we have actually evolved to drinking water we we didn't used to drink water because we didn't need that much because we got most of our substances in macro and micro molecules from eating our fruits because we were frugivores i'm crazy <laughs> yeah all right <laughs> i guess the crazy ones are sane and the same ones crazy huh y'all gonna learn one day yes water is energy water is energy just saying. So look, let's let's open up these let's open up these phone calls. See what y'all got. Uh, www.yakiawaken.com. Uh, for those that need herbs, for those that need any type of literature, for those that just trying to get familiar with my product. Uh, my name is Doctor Rafa, Doctor Yaki Rafa Elohim. Uh, yes, we do a lot of things. We have all the certifications and all the doctrines. And guess what, family? All the stuff I learned is learning the lies. Y'all want to learn the lies? Get in the field. Get access to a laboratory. Get access to a laboratory. Start doing your own experiments. Start studying these things. And you will see that the things that you learned in class and the things that you learned in them books was pure indoctrination. The people that control your television program, remember, program. The people that control your radio program, remember, program. 
The people that control your education program, them are programs. They say it in the curriculum. The people that control what you learn, what you see, your food, what you eat, your water, what you drink, control your damn mind. The only way to get your mind back is by taking these things back. Start self-educating yourself. Start drinking your own water from your own land and start growing your own food. Now, people going to get in here. Everybody ain't got the luxury of doing that. We'll get on this here app and follow people that have their stuff, form a community, come together and start sharing and bartering, bartering and trading. It's that simple. It's that simple. Straight up. Never let your oppressors educate you because you will always be wrong. You will always be spilling out mixed information, thinking you know something about a protein. A protein can't fold under a water. You, I'll be hearing some of the most craziest stuff, and I'll be like, oh, okay. That Negro must have went. He must have went to school. Let me clap for him. Now, he, he, went to, he went to school. Okay? I got, a, I got a doctorate. I got a PhD. I got certifications. I got a BS and BA in biochemistry. I got all of this stuff. I'm in, ain't I'm in school right now, Nabi? Right now. I'm in school right now for mo molecular biology. I'm in school right now. Finna get another one. I'm not clapping and giving myself a round of a... Because I'm learning the lies to tell y'all the truth. It's a different... See, I'm in school for a different objective. I'm not there to have a piss contest and pull my thing out to see who's the biggest. I'm in here to learn the lies and to show y'all I learned these lies and this is what I did in my free time and with my studies and this is the truth. This is the truth, not that. It's a difference. All right, let's see what people got here. My graduation coming, y'all. We just we 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 we're looking for the place. It's still gonna be in Atlanta though. It's not in California no more. I know everybody wanna be there. And it's only gonna be what, six hundred seats now? Yeah. Peace, peace, man. God. How you feeling? What's going on with you, man? And blessings to you, King. What's your name and where you from? I'm from Philly. My name is Khalil. 